Hi guys, Katie from Dinosaur Valley State Park to show you all at home easy, family friendly crafts and activities dinosaur style. For today's craft, we'll be using the three R's. That's right, reduce, reuse, and recycle to make our very own dinosaur planter made out of a plastic bottle. So, let's get started. To get started, you'll need a plastic bottle, cutting utensils, paint and paintbrush, permanent marker or whiteboard marker, and sandpaper. The first thing you want to do is outline the plastic bottle with the design that you want. I've learned that using a dry erase marker or a whiteboard marker is best so you can erase it afterwards and don't have to worry about painting over the black permanent marker lines. I'm going to be doing a dinosaur container or planter, but you can make a cat, a unicorn, an owl. Honestly, all these crafts are very versatile. Once you got your outline, it's now time to cut. What I found best is using an X-Acto knife to puncture the plastic first and then to go around the edge like so. Also, another tip that I found is using the thicker plastic such as this one of a coffee creamer bottle or a one liter soda bottle. When you use a plastic water bottle like this one, it's surely hard to cut because the plastic is so flimsy and thin. Alright, so once you have the container or planter cut, it's now time to sand it down. Now sanding it helps the paint stick to the smooth plastic, but you can also use it to round over the sharp edges. Once it's sanded down, it's now time to paint. Preferably, I'm using acrylic paint just so it has a chance to last longer and stick better. And this will possibly need multiple coats. I found it to be around two to three coats of paint to get a full coverage. Now that the paint has dried, it's now time to personalize it. For this one, I'll be doing googly eyes, polka dots, and of course using a permanent marker for this face. And there you have it, you have your own dinosaur planter, container, or just decoration. If you do use it as a planter, I highly recommend putting pea gravel or aquarium gravel at the bottom of the pot to assist with water drainage. I hope you all enjoyed this craft, and as always, get outside, get creative, and explore the outdoors. Thanks for watching!